Hello my crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. We are going to continue our unboxing review product from FG Normal. In video number one, we did some awesome 3D projects of diamond painting, some awesome drill pans. Check this out video, if you do not see it, I will link it up for you here. And then today we will have three cross stitching. You can probably recognize that it's gonna be by Joy Sunday, uh, packing and printing everything. And then for now our video number three, we still have two diamond paintings left and it looks like a big one. Not sure what's up there. I'm not picking till I will record video together with you. <clears throat> okay, excuse me for a second. I need a little bit of coffee. <clears throat> I know I should drink water instead, but what you gonna do? Uh, well, so today for our cross stitching friends and lovers, and I'm so addicted lately to cross stitching, I cannot express how much fun I'm having. So if you never have cross stitch before, find an easy canvas. You can check my playlist of cross stitching. Find the canvas that I say that's very, very easy to cross stitch and you will have fun, I promise you. You will learn so fast. I have many tutorials for beginners. Everything you have to start, have to finish, have to do back stitching in two different ways. So we should start see what we have in here from FG Normal. Three canvases and we will see one at a time. Let me see which one we want to see first. Oh, I don't know. They're all beautiful. I cannot decide. So how about we will start first, maybe, okay, I'm just looking at sizes right now. So we will start with the big one. How about that? And that is good for any man cave, <laughs> for any bar. Um, maybe you have a, like a good bar section in the kitchen in your house. So let's see, this is this is interesting. This is interesting. And they print lately in such a colorful and bright colors that it's very easy to follow. I'm stitching right now one of this uh, by Joy Sunday canvases that is so colorful, so easy. Like for example, like the, the, look at that, those numbers are so easy to see. You don't even need to uh, follow, follow pattern like DMC codes on the um, edge like in here. You can see them all on a canvas in so clear print. Look at that. But we will see this more close. Let's see what else we have in here. I saw many times this canvas is print, I um, mean already stitched on a counted cross stitch and also <clears throat> there's the other one like a spice with the spices some other drinks with some lobster laying on it there's some similar canvases like this that like a jars pickled vegetables uh, some of them with fruits I think uh, and I kind of like it. After I saw them finished project, I really like it and I decided why not to try. Look at that, we have a 12 pages in here booklet. And I can see already that we will have some back stitching, which is awesome. Um, Jack Daniel. At the room. Let's see how it's printed. Okay, okay, so they not connected. Sometimes they have a staple them together. This one not. I'm just looking in for the description. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There, on the last page. Why didn't I see it before? I don't know, because I was blind. <laughs> so we have in here, okay, good amount of colors. We have 
54 54 colors and I see white in here 5200 so I'm not sure if those edges in here if those edges in here will be stitched because it's in white or maybe some details up there so maybe this is not partial maybe this one will have to be stitched we will see and by looking at a picture blank in here no maybe this you don't have to stitch the very very top okay <clears throat> picture looks like you know that I, I love on this picture the background behind those bottles it's like a rustic wood panels that is paint faded and all the colors get uh, revealed after so many layers of paint uh, that background is really attractive to me and then we have varieties of bottles different kind of drinks totally not my style right <laughs> I'm all about cottages and flowers and all of a sudden boom well why not to stitch something and maybe gift to somebody who like to drink hard liquors there's some oranges in here um, look there's some oranges there's a cherry up there there's a star fruit. I try one time actually. I don't know how what I think about that. There's some lemon in here. Uh, there's so many fancy drinks in here. Mmm. Now I'm thirsty. So what's my favorite in here? I see Jack Daniel whiskey. Uh, Omega, I don't know what it is. Han Hennessy. Hard to read actually what that is, but um, because of the pattern, I can't really recognize because maybe I just don't know what kind of drink that is. I'm not hard liquor drinker. I like my wine sometimes, maybe beer. All right. Oh, the colors in here. I love. I love these colors. This one colors, and that's go cool for the rustic background. And also, there's a bottle in this color, and that's like an aqua teal. Beautiful colors. Okay, we will see colors more close because that's always to me a super excited thing. The canvas itself. Okay, let me read for you. It's 14 count. My favorite count to work, it's comfortable work on 14 count. 77 by 36 centimeters. Include cotton fabric, cotton threads, needle, and instruction, which this is our instruction. And we have a needle always in here in the pack of threads. So now let's see canvas itself. It looks very, very colorful, very bright. You know, not too many backstitching in here. Just some around the bottles, but not as crazy. So it will be easy to stitch. The colors in here are very easy to follow. I'm just looking, investigating, okay? I'm investigating. Lots of colors in here, like in a big patches of colors and you it's very very visible it will be easy to follow uh, some confetti in here maybe a little bit in the margarita or whatever the drink is mm, not not bad at all I think it will be very easy especially the background will be very easy because it's a chunks strips of colors like on this side even this bottle almost like in the same color just where is the writing a little bit in here um, different but mostly the same color so it's easy and uh, symbols in here very bright and visible numbers on them of course look at that you just look on a number and pick your thread that you need nicely nicely printed no smudges 
now if we look here is the symbols let's find a focus there look how clear numbers you can see I just want to see if there's any like a similarity in colors let me check we have three type of axes but they all different color one in red purple and light blue we have some stars in here one is a blue star red star dark purple star so it's easy kind of to see uh, we have in here like those lines <coughs> like the, those lines also in different color light blue green red and dark purple so obviously lots of same symbols but all in different color so that shouldn't be a problem now the blocks similarity of the blocks of the color um, for example in here two dark blacks but one blue one purple so I'm trying to find right now them okay the purple I can see it's very very dark purple and um, other more brighter let me find it where it is can see it right now I can see it right now so I will have to check on the pattern and we will look closely when okay no I think I see it I think I see it one in here one in here okay just for example like in here see one in more purplish and this one like looks like almost like a black so it's still easy to recognize them okay I don't think we have any uh, complications with this one everything is clear uh, the the symbols the only symbols that I would say be careful about it's the um, this one symbol because you have two of them this one and this one if you flip canvas this way the symbol will look different so you can mix them together and same thing uh, I have in here dark one this one and this one so same thing, if you flip canvas, the, all of a sudden the symbol will look this way, right? So it's easy to mistake them. So always make sure your canvas is facing you, the way you read your symbol, so you don't mistake about it. And on this side, of course, we have all the backstitching. For the backstitching, we have one, two, three, four, five colors only. We have even backstitching in here in white color, which will bring more highlight and popping up your image from the bunch okay that's nice I like it I like it this canvas is beautiful and it's big lots of work to do and the way it's full that you see you can already separate on three panels <laughs> and one two three the way the way it's full that's how you can stitch in this chunks if you use in a square uh, frame or you can use an around one that would be more complicated have to put it but it's definitely awesome designed for the main cave bar area for a gift to your friends now let's see these beautiful colors because they are magnificent and i always say the teal color with mix of the brown it's the best combination the best combination and i'm really really love this combo I start liking this combo when I was making a card and one time I color my image in this kind of uh, combination and use background papers all kind of matching to this colors it was my best project ever I think now let's see this gorgeous threads because it's like it's so many of them in here right it's 50 um, what how many 54 no what is it yeah 54 colors 54 colors so let me show you this parade of colors we will 
look them one by one. Looks very silky and smooth. And you already know because I repeat in every of my video, I love to work with these threads. They are very comfortable to work. I like the shine and they layer nicely on the canvas. Nice and soft to touch. Look at this bright. Oh, the colors on these palettes are so beautiful. Oh, more of the teal color. Look at these colors, right? This one. This one's so pretty. Hiding up there next to brown. Color is gorgeous. Then on this side, we have some extra palette with extras. And then on this side. Beautiful. Lots of extras. They are so silky and smooth. You want to touch them, you want to pet them. <laughs> Oh, it's it's gorgeous. This palette is gorgeous of colors. And then of course we have two needles, two needles in here. It's this yellow gold reflection. It's reflecting. Okay, we have two needles out there. Oh, it's so hard to show you. Okay, this way. Can we see it? Can we see it? <laughs> okay, that's beautiful. That's canvas number one. Oh, love it. Everything is amazing. And here you go one more time. Picture how it's going to look like. Of course, it's going to look like much more better in real. And by the way, the way the picture frame showing you, that's a good idea and tip which frame color will be match nicely to certain cross stitching canvas and I think that's like a yellow matting and brown frame looks good in here looks good even maybe like a teal matting would be nice as well I don't know possibility possibility oh colors in here is just amazing I absolutely love it this one colors now Canvas number two, let's see this one. And this is another my love for our flowers. Let me show you. It looks like it's gonna be maybe a little bit more confetti in here, maybe not. Let's check, let's pull out. I always try to be careful so pages doesn't get squished got a little bit squished. I like my pages to be crisp. Oh, so squeaky because it's such a shiny paper. Okay, the image itself is amazing. And also I got um, attractive to this one by watching girls cross stitching. It's amazing to me, those flowers itself beautiful background you see the column up there beautiful sky is a mountains up there let me check yes mountains looks like a river in here I love this column I like this pinkish sky up there and the tree but look at the vase the color in up there okay where were we got distracted a little bit in here sorry about that so let's continue what I was saying I think it was how beautiful this vase up there, glass vase, uh, that you can see all the flowers go inside to the water, which is kind of will be beautiful up there, transitions of colors. And then flowers, I think it will look beautiful, it looks so like full bloom. Oh, you can almost smell the flowers, it looks beautiful. I love the column up there. 
and that tree looks good. Look at the, this pink sky. I think this image is fantastic and it's inspired me by watching one of the YouTubers cross stitching. Looks so beautiful that I couldn't help it. Like I just wanted to have this as well and I love flowers. Uh, and this is 14 count. Now I can't remember if I already said that or not. <laughs> I don't think so. So it's a 14 count, 48 centimeters by 37 centimeters. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. Also, there's a railing up there, some tiny flowers blooming. You can use up there even French knots or even seed beads to make this more even pop if you want to. But the image itself, that like it's just gorgeous. I love this vase with flowers. So let's see how many colors we have is in here. So of course all this by Joy Sunday. I love Joy Sunday. And we have in here full stitch. Oh, there's a difference in here. Okay, good. In full stitch we have 50 colors. Awesome. Good amount of colors. I love it. Then we have a half stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. And then back stitch. It's showing me here one color, but two DMC code. I wonder if this is the blend of the back stitch. Hmm. You see that? I don't know. Look back stitch has two DMC's or that's a number oh that's a number and DMC okay I think let me check number symbol DMC okay so number 20 and 801 DMC okay no never mind it's a one color of back stitch and booklet, this one booklet is beautiful. Look at this. Has a six pages in here. Separated on six pages. Look at the stunning, stunning pages. And to backstitch a little bit in here on the tree area. There's the branches. And what else could be? I think that's all we have backstitch uh, just for the tree area. I don't see any backstitch on the columns or fans in here. No, just the tree. So that's easy. And the half stitch will go to 11, maybe for the sky. I don't know. There's some portion of the sky in here. Definitely, oh, definitely sky is a half stitch. Well, that's exciting because I did not stitch yet in a half, well, I did. My ballerina cross stitch and canvas have a half stitch, uh, but this is kind of like a colorful first cross stitching because my ballerina like in a nude to uh, tones, in um, pastels, like a browns colors, skin tone. And this is kind of very colorful, so that would be interesting to see um, how it look like full cross stitching in a mix with half stitching. Now, let's see the magic. Boom! This is the magic, the palette of colors. Oh, nice and bright, nice and bright. Two needles. As always, colors. Let's see colors first because they are so amazing. Isn't it gorgeous? Those pinks up there. Beautiful. And then we can open and see the other side. Hmm. 
lots of blues for the sky and lots of shades of greens so this cross stitch look should look very beautiful and of course as always joy sunday staple to needle with the yellow uh, gold uh, thread and spot okay the only thing i wish they would put like a size of the needle because uh, very often when you uh, read descriptions of what needles you should use with different maybe with different kind of fabric i don't know uh, they suggested this kind of number of the needle so I never know what kind of size needles in Joy Sunday's canvases. If somebody of you know, please let me uh, know in the comments area. I would love to know this. And then canvas itself. It's a cute, good size canvas. Not big, not small. I would say medium size. Uh, definitely more com more complicated than uh, the first canvas that we opened with the bottles because in here obviously flowers and trees you can have a little bit more of the colors going on but you know what I'm looking at right now it's not bad at all because for example in here uh, let's see those colors for example half triangle right it looks like a confetti from far, but when you look close, they all connected close together. So you don't have those like a singles and far away from each other. So it's kind of like a, you know, zigzagging and it's easy to find them. Not bad, not bad. Uh, actually very good. It's not just not bad, it's good. Look at the symbols, nice and clean. And yeah, still have some numbers and the big chunks. Look how visible that is. Sky area is very easy. And there's like a, it's gonna be half stitch in here. Uh, now, those of you who cross stitch a lot and you mix in a full stitch with the half stitch, do you layer them in one direction or not? Because for example, if I do my a full stitch my first thread go this way and second overlap this way so that would be my full stitch so if I keep continue with the half stitch it's mean my full stitch would be cut or go this way but a half stitch would be ha do this way so it's mean I need to do half stitch in the opposite direction to kind of even up with the full stitch is that would be right thing to do because that's how I did in my ballerina when I was when my full stitch point this direction I did my half stitch in the same direction so I would love to know how you stitch same way as I do or you put your half stitches in a different direction and is it look good how does it look like so please let me know about that as well I would love to read from you and here yes yeah, so all in here we have a full stitches and full stitches back stitch in here and then in here we have a half stitches symbols in here if you wonder in stitches it's 220 by 165 stitches a link of this canvas very pixelated looking from here I would never recognize what kind of image in here if I didn't see the real picture <laughs> so there's not much we can see in here uh, that all canvases and I will repeat for you one more time uh, I'm kind of saying this in almost every video so all all stitches from J um, Joy Sunday they do finish edges in here in the stitches so it doesn't fray also the canvas is pretty much stiff easy to work even without frame but I, I like to work with frame or the hoops because that way uh, your stitch will layer I think nicer than pulling 
in two stitches if that would be counted cross stitch without stiffness on the fabric then in two stitches at once it would be easy to work in your hands but for this one I find when you do one and two at once the thread itself can cut kind of like in half and fluff and faster because you kind of rub in the more in the edges of the square instead of go straight down and straight up in two stitches uh, you know what I mean right so I find with the printed area canvases easy to work in just in one stitch and work with the hoop or frame wow all right it's wonderful another gorgeous canvas and canvas number three again I got uh, influenced by one of the youtubers uh, that I watch her stitch in this image and I fell in love with it it doesn't look very like nothing special but when I saw her stitching and how beautiful that look like the little details like um, I will show you picture first let me just pull it out and she inspired me to look for this image I see already we have in here back stitching it's this one um, we have in here it call or oh, do we have a name for the other canvas as well oh, hold on let me just check ways a uh, ways with distant mountains this one called ways with distant mountain and the other one i kind of never pay attention on the name just a minute this one wine okay totally no wine in here but it's called wine all right, now we know. Okay, so in here, fortune count again, 54 by 41 centimeters. And in here, beautiful cottage, castle looking, very fancy, rich house, I would say, in a very beautiful secluded area. Look how beautiful the, the water up there that fish would swim, maybe goldfish. You can see the water lily on the water. There's some beautiful other. The grass, the flowers. And look at this uh, arch in here door that you can see on the backyard or front yard of the house. Like you just want to walk through this door. It is so mysterious and gorgeous now look at this house how beautiful i really love uh, how this um, fence uh, rocky stone stone made uh, wall have its beautiful look in stitching and there's a lots of back stitching supposed to be there in a count cross stitch i don't know about this one yet but um, that wasn't, I think, Joy Sun that I was looking. That was like from original different company uh, who created this image in cross stitching. So we will see. And oh, look at that. You can see the reflection on the water from this house. This little like a castle area up there. Oh, so many beautiful details in here. Yeah, there's a woody park area up there in the back. There's a little bench up there through this walk through. It's just very, very beautiful. And the way I think, yes, I think we, we will have some back stitch and look this on this house clothes. I have this, um, the, the back stitch like a fence area or like a metal balcony. Um, I don't know about brick, but roof line up around with back stitching looks like it so it should be gorgeous and i can see that this water lily um, uh, like a leaves in a back stitching up there and some like a grass and that would be easy way to do a back stitching like i showed you on my poppies canvas 
so let's see how many colors we have in here in full stitch we have here a little bit less colors than the other canvas uh, it's 44 colors in here we have lots of back stitching in here in one two three four five six seven eight colors and then we have a French knot in one color and that's it I guess that's all we have a six pages very very bright print very colorful and I can see in here the branches in the back stitching uh, the lilies kind of water and yes we do have a, a back stitching on the brick I'm really happy about that because that's what it's gonna make it looks really realistic and beautiful the brick area of, of um, back stitching and outlining house roof balcony oh amazing amazing I really I just the colors itself it's so colorful so like I don't know I always say so many times beautiful because it is beautiful and I can't help it and look how many flowers up there all the greenery don't you just wish to sit up there next to the water and cross stitch right there put your chair or even blanket somewhere in the grass and it would be so peaceful the, the frogs probably on the water singing songs the birds is chirping flowers with the butterflies flying all over I can picture and imagine so many beautiful things then lay down the grass and look on the sky see some shapes of the clouds that was my favorite thing to do when I was a kid to look for the shapes in the cloud how many of you did the same thing that was fun because we didn't have any electronic gadgets all we have fun what we can find it's uh, you know the sky <laughs> and the clouds okay let's see the canvas first and then we will see the slashes colors okay there you go this canvas a little bit more longer let's see uh, this one 54 this one is 48 and this one 41 this one 37 yeah so a little bit smaller than our flowers okay let's see canvas itself what is going on in here the sky what is white in here let me see do we have to stitch this or not I don't see any blank square in here so I guess this would be partial stitching only on the sky um, white color in here 5200 it's the around oh that's for the French knots uh, looks in here looks like it's for the flowers somewhere in here area uh, canvas amazing I have to say print super proper way right in a point where it should be numbers on a canvas crispy print are very crispy look at this that's probably the brick area look how good we can see and all this uh, numbers on the canvas looks good another number like in here DMC nothing is smudged really really visible sometimes could be smudged but that was once I have image by Joy Sunday that I ordered like two or three years ago um, since then all of their canvases got more brighter in color in here so it's easy to find certain spot where you want to stitch if you do country cross stitching with one color to finish so it's easy to recognize them much more brighter much more clean 
and new of course new packaging updated the instruction now on a package and not on a paper anymore and I like that so by the size by the cross uh, cross stitching count it's 253 and 182 high yes and it's called England Castle in here uh, we have yeah same thing in here England Castle so obviously it is castle not a house in England any any of you from um, UK people England can you recognize where this is please let me know which area of England like wh where is this castle I could probably Google but I would love to know if any of you actually visit this area because this is so beautiful that would be I, I bet it's a gorgeous attraction for a tourist right stunning now let's see our threads and this is gonna be it for today's unboxing we have two needles and here's the gorgeous colors I'm telling you I watched this cross stitch finished um, and I was following girl as she was stitching and it's just amazing and that's why she inspired me I can't remember name uh, but it is um, it was girl from Russia I, I cannot remember name but she done this cross stitching and accounted so it's kind of like a more revealing as she stitch but it's so easy right now to do on a printed area cross stitch it's easy you don't have to count and that's probably the beauty about it but the only thing is a little bit more difficult to stitch on a printed area because sometimes paint could be like close more holes and it's more a little bit harder to pull your needle through but you don't have to count so it's kind of like you know advantage with disadvantage at the same time but I can stitch with you I can chat with you and I know I'm not gonna make a mistake because I don't have to count so here it is awesome awesome canvas thank you so much again for staying with me thank you for this awesome unboxing thank you FG normal for this beautiful designs absolutely love them now do you have a favorite let me know which one of these designs is your favorite and I would love to read your comments see you next time as always goodbye